Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun for Tutorial Cinema, and I'd like to go ahead and apologize for the lack of videos lately. Um, one reason being that we haven't gotten very many submissions, and uh, and also I've been on a little vacation um, the past weekend. So, um, going ahead with this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool custom color correction. Now, you can't get really specific with this color correction, but it's a really nice way to get a specific color. Um, on your video clip very easily um, using something called an envelope on a video track. Um, so basically I have just a black ops clip in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the video track and then go to insert remove envelope and I'm going to do fade to color. Now by default, well actually before I say that, um, there is a line that will go infinitely across your video track unless you remove the envelope. Um, and the only bad thing about this is you can only do two colors in uh, one video track and uh, and you'll know what I mean by that so by default dragging this up will make the clip more white hopefully um, if it uh, if it shows there we go um, so as you can see I guess uh, I plugged in my headphones so I don't think the video screen updates until I click around but uh, besides that um, bringing it down will um, up will is by default brings it to black color um, so basically you can just right click this line and do reset all to um, configure that back to normal um, and I do apologize I have to click around for that um, but anyways um, now to edit the up and down colors you can go to right click on the video track again go to fade colors and uh, go to top so now you get a color wheel here and you can pick a custom color for the top now I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a suggestion like a warmish um, blue right about in this color right here um, looks really really good so actually I'm gonna go ahead and edit the bottom color as well um, let's do bottom let's make it bright pink oh yeah okay so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this up now normally it'll update the video screen um, automatically but mine's just being weird um, so I'm gonna do about 16 percent and I'm gonna move it and you can see that this it has a lot more brighter blue color I'm gonna do it a lot so you can notice the extreme difference here um, obviously oops you don't want to do that um, obviously you can tell that uh, you really don't want that much of an extreme effect or I mean you can if you want um, so I'm going to bring this back down. What I recommend is about 13 or 16 percent. It snaps to those. Um, that and that looks good. It brings like a nice little warm blue color. Uh, I'm going to go up to 16 percent and show you what that looks like. See, I, I think it looks pretty good. So compare that to normal, which is about now. So it looks pretty good. And also with a envelope, which is really cool, you can actually double click on the line and it will create a little point. Now, if you drag after that point it will you'll see that it like moves along that point and you can also reset the line like that um, and so if you put let's say a po four points like so you can make it fade down and then fade back up into whatever color you want and you can just reset the points as well um, so that's also really cool if you didn't know that about video track so I'm gonna go ahead and test my bright pink and bring it down a little bit and you can see now ooh yeah that looks pretty sexy in that uh, bright pink color correction um, so again, I'm going to bring it to about 16% if I can get it. I'll just do 13. And uh, you can see you get that nice color uh, effect that you want. Um, so yeah, 16, 13% looks good. Um, get any kind of custom color correction you like or custom, literally a custom color. But uh, it doesn't really get that specific um, other than that. So um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you would like to send a tutorial, there's always a annotation telling you how to do that or the link in the description. Um, I will see you guys next time. And please also suggest tutorials, also a link in the description. Bye.